Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a paper towel roll cake. Let's start with a plastic texture mat, a bowl of water, and a big old brush. I'm sopping up some of that ordinary everyday tap water, and I'm brushing it onto my plastic texture mat. This mat has thin stripes, which I think will read as paper towel texture very nicely. Now I sop up some more water and I brush it onto a sheet of edible paper, AKA wafer paper, AKA rice paper. Then I pick that wet paper up, I place it onto the wet texture mat, and then I work the paper into the grooves of the mat with my brush. So I'm going to do this to a total of four sheets. Wafer paper is made of rice or potato starch, and it pretty much doesn't have a taste. These particular sheets have a hint of vanilla, but it's really, really subtle. I've actually used wafer paper to make one of my favorite cakes that I've ever made, ever. It's of an onion. <laughs> the onion skin was made of wafer paper, and it looked a lot like the real thing. So much so that I've been accused of just wrapping a cake in real onion skin. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out. The four sheets are set, so now I'll just let them dry overnight. It's cake time. I'm stacking three inch round layers of cake, the height of a paper towel roll. Paper towels are one of those things that when I buy them from the store, I don't go cheap. Because cheap paper towels are basically worthless. I may as well just use wafer paper. This is a rule that I also follow for my toilet paper and garbage bags. For the final top layer of cake, I'm cutting a small circle out of the center so that it looks like it's hollow all the way down. To keep the cake from tipping over, I placed a plastic dowel down the center. It's like a bay leaf. It's an important part of the dish, but it gets taken out before it's eaten. Now I ice the cake with my green buttercream. Not only will this make the cake the shape of the paper towel, but the buttercream also makes the cake more sturdy. When it's refrigerated, that is. I love refrigerators. Like how butter is soft at room temperature and very firm when it's chilled. Buttercream's the same. Now I'm gonna place the cake in the fridge and I'm gonna roll out some white modeling chocolate. I just pick the chocolate up, I place it on the side, and then I trim the excess chocolate from the bottom and the top with a blade. And that modeling chocolate is that final edible layer that helps keep this cake sturdy. Goodbye, bay leaf. Now I'll fill the center hole with some gray modeling chocolate and I will trim. The top is nice and flat, which is good because now I'm gonna place a layer of modeling chocolate over top. The edible paper is now dry and it has that line texture that I was going for. I like it. I'm trimming the paper directly on the plastic texture mat because it makes the edge look a little uneven. And I think that it looks similar to the torn perforated edges on a real paper towel. I sprayed a little bit of water onto the cake and now I place the paper towel sheets onto the sides. This is very fragile and we have come this far. I'm trying not to ruin it. To texture the top of the cake, I'm dragging this rake-like tool across the chocolate. This worked better than I thought it would, which is a relief because all the other ways that I thought of to create this effect, I feel like they would have taken me all day. You know what's really funny? Paper towel packaging. Like how many rolls are you going to try to tell me are in one roll? It's like just make a roll and be done with it. Like, stop trying to convince me that one roll is the equivalent of 15 rolls. I'm not buying it.
And there you have it, a paper towel roll cake. This cake is tall and narrow, which means it's going to be really fun to destroy. So let's cut it. If you like my realistic cake videos, subscribe to this channel right now because I post a new one every week. Now don't forget to like this video and check out my Side Surf Cake Studio merch at shop.sidesurfcakes.com. I'll see you next week for another cake.